room and just say your name. That's it, just, you know, vocal practice on the type. So, I'm Brandon. I'm Andrea. I'm Cicely. I'm Dee. I'm Kim Cho. I'm Jennifer. <coughs> we skipped them. Go Bob. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Bob. <laughs> I'm Olivia. I'm Jasmine. I'm John. I'm Dia. Oh, I'm Raquel. Hey, I'm Kay. I'm Regine. I'm Kat. I'm Deidre. I'm Jade. I'm Dana. I'm Rock. I'm Zay. Darius. Kristen. Kavana. Dominique. Shevin. Becky. DJ. John. Oh, Ashley. Uh, Nikisa. I'm Doyle. I'm Destiny. I'm Ty. I'm Ace. I'm Lawrence. All right. Hey, guys. Well, uh, like I said, my name is Ty. Um, this is my cousin, Alan. I help him with We, uh, we Need to Talk. Um, we understand that these kind of discussions sometimes can be very, very <coughs> personal. Um, we hope that everybody respects each other um, and each other's opinions. Um, but we've also decided to add the use of social media in these discussions. We understand that. A lot of people that are here are very adamant about what, how they feel, but there are also some people who may not feel comfortable saying whatever they feel. So we decided to implement Yik Yak. How many of y'all know what Yik Yak is? All right, if you have Yik Yak on your phone, please feel free. If you have an opinion or something that you're not quite comfortable saying out loud, you can put it in Yik Yak. We'll be checking that periodically throughout the conversation. Just put hashtag we need to talk so that we can look at it and know that it's from this discussion. All right, um, when, it, when I posted um, an advertisement for this, um, one thing I found was a study done in, um, I think, 1999. They pulled some people, and they asked the same question. Is homosexuality a choice? 49% um, said, yes, it's a, I mean, no, it's a choice. It's not a choice in time. And the other 51% um, said, yes, it's a choice. So let's do a little poll in here. By a show of hands, who thinks it's a choice? Okay. Who thinks it's not a choice? Okay, it's kind of the same thing, almost. Who didn't raise their hand? <laughs> okay. Let's start with you then. Let's start, let's start with the fence and then we'll go, we'll go that way. Yeah. So, why are you on the fence? Just because, like, I feel like it's not really a clear, definite yes and no because it's a mixed population. So you might have people within the community who did choose to be that way according to like circumstances or whatnot, or they might feel more comfortable in that certain you know way or whatnot. And then you also have people who actually feel that they were born that way, and, you know, they felt like that from a child. So that's why I can't really say yes or no. And not calling up. Please um, speak up when you're talking, please, because we're recording. Oh, so. my bad. Yeah, but um, okay, so. Does anybody want to define the word choice uh, as it relates to them? What What do you think of choice? Is? Anybody? Something you pick, something you like. It's just something you you know you're interested in, so you choose to use it or like it or whatever. Mm -hmm. So is it is it a predisposition or is it just uh, something you come to at a certain age? I think it's like both. Because, um, you know, like when you're little, you don't really think about it as much as you would if you get older. But um, I, I feel like, um, you know, you don't really know when you develop a liking to a certain uh, gender, you see what I'm saying? Like, when you're like little, like let's say you're like seven or eight, you're in like kindergarten or first grade, you're just playing in the playground. You don't really think about what you like or, you know, who is what and what gender is, you know. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, as you get older, you know, you develop puberty and hormones and stuff like that. And, you know, you don't really choose at that time to like a certain gender, but, you know, um, it's the, the urge is there from the start. So. Okay. Um, for the people who uh, raise their hand for choice, um, does anybody want to elaborate on that or? Would you like a question? Because I have a bunch of them. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right, go ahead. 
Um, I said choice, but I feel the same way that you feel about the issue. It's a choice for certain people. I know with me, it was a choice for me. I decided that I want to live this lifestyle. But for others, it not necessarily wasn't a choice. And I think it's kind of hard to define what is a choice and what is not. Because when you're in a predicament where you're being bullied or constantly thinking about taking your life, it leaves from being a choice because it's, it comes to you as the only option. Then. So therefore, you don't categorize that choice. You say, this is my only option. Either I'm going to live life feeling to me or comply with what everybody else thinks is right. So therefore, no, it's not a choice anymore. It's what you feel is the only option. So that's why, you know, it's like on the fence situation. Um, to piggyback off what he said, I completely understand, like, um, sometimes it's that gravitational pull. It's like when somebody else, when a, when one group doesn't accept you, it's like you go to the group who does accept you. So you start to assimilate in some instances, you start to assimilate to that group. Now, like, I never really thought about it, how she said it, but after she said it, I can see it being both ways with some people as it being a choice with some, and then it might not be a choice for others. But like I said, it's like you go to who accepts you the most. So you assimilate to who accepts you. So if that's the group that accepts you, like he said, it was his choice that was the group that accepted him, so that's the group, for lack of a better word, assimilates. Okay. Do, um, do you guys think there's a distinction between uh, homosexuality and men and women? Does anybody think it's... Yeah. Like, uh, um, we'll see the question. Like, um, do you think a gay man is different than a gay woman, pretty much, or the thought process. Our reaction to it is different. Maybe not necessarily that the feelings between the two are different, because I feel like you can be a homosexual female and feel just as strongly about your partner as a homosexual male would. But I feel like how we look at it is different than how it like actually is within the relationship. That makes sense. It does. It does. Um, do do any of you guys know people who? Because I sure know people like this. They um, female examples. Because I don't know any male examples. But say they were heartbroken in the past by men, and then turn around and now they like women. Who knows people like that? What What are you guys' opinions on those, on those people? I think it might go back to what she said. Like, I think it's just like she's not being a in the case of a girl. She's not being accepted by, I guess, men, so she turns to what I guess she does accept it. You know? mm -hmm. If you can't get it here, you can get it where you fit in, I don't know. Is it that easy? Not very well. Not very well. That's interesting. Um, okay. Can you go back off that? I really think that's where people get this idea where if you're gay one day, you can change the next. Mm -hmm. It's because a lot of people aren't really gay and they go and do gay things with like other people and it gets other people thinking, oh, well, if you were straight then, if you're gay now, I guess you can go from being gay to being straight, but it's really not that easy. You know what I mean? Okay, let me ask you all this. Um, if for some reason we lived in that world, who would still be their same sexuality? Why? Anybody want to elaborate on that? <laughs> if I was, if, if we was living in that like alternate parallel universe, I believe that I would not be the same, well, not have the same sexuality as I did before, well, as in this world. Um, my decision to live this lifestyle that I chose, if I can remember correct, it was solely on the purpose of I wanted to be different. And it might be like, just like y'all may say, well, that's like a whack behind reason, but I want to be different. And I said, well, that's different. So I chose it. And I felt as if we was in that universe where that seemed right, me wanting to be different would gravitate me towards being heterosexual, if that makes sense. Awkwardly, it's, it's madness to, I guess, my mindset and my madness, but yeah. You mean like a hipster almost? Or like? <laughs> <laughs> like I would go against the grain in that universe. Even as far as sexuality. Yeah. Huh. Huh. I probably would have been rebellious. Yeah. Yeah. A child I probably would have been rebellious. You can't make me like something I don't like. You can't make me stop being something I am. So I have a question. 
So you just decided to do that. I mean, from, from as far as I can remember, you know, I, I was like kind of young at that point. Oh, okay, I'm thinking that like, you were talking about like two years ago. You oh. <laughs> 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 like, like the way he was just saying yeah, it. I was, okay. Okay. I was about to ask why, but you said yeah. you can't really recall stuff. So. At, at what age, okay, let's say, let's say it is a choice or it is, um, it is um, just something you're born with. At what age do you realize that or do you make that choice? Would, would any of you guys say? Yeah, I think, you know, I don't think I can yeah. say that because like my niece like at this point like she's only like five like she's so she's showing signs that she's gonna like girls and that, that makes me like think like she when she comes home she's like I got a girlfriend and I'm like wait you got a what like how do you understand what's going on and so she is attracted to girls she like girls she don't play with balls she just like girls like she she just she just like <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, was, it wasn't either one, it was to decide that I'm okay with it, you know? Because it was never something, oh, I'm gonna wake up today, I'm gonna like boys, you know? It wasn't, it wasn't like that, it was something that I just had to do. Like, if people are gonna talk about me, I just have to accept the fact that I'm different. That's what it was. Can you just ask me what's, what's the difference between um, the lifestyle and uh, what your, I mean, your um, sexuality? Yeah. Uh, to me, what that means is um, your sexuality is pretty much what you like. Plain and simple, what you like. Lifestyle is the exactly the the. There's a certain uh, uh, heterosexual lifestyle. There's a homosexual lifestyle. You know, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give y'all a little background on why I wanted to talk about this. So um, I'm African. I'm from Nigeria. Uh, so it's time by halfway. But uh, <laughs> but but um in in Nigeria. This is, I didn't know what gay was until I came to this country, right? It's, it's like, it's one of those um, topics where there is a unified kind of idea of what's right and wrong. And homosexual was wrong, as far as I knew it was wrong. And, you know, I don't know at what age I started thinking about it, I was like, huh, at what, if this is a choice, at what point did I choose to be heterosexual? I didn't have an answer, which which kind of which kind of led me to lean towards the it's not a choice thing because who am I to say you made a choice about what you like when I can't tell you when I made a choice about what I like you know and then the video it's like huh what if some people's sexuality is only based on what society deems is normal and that's that's the reason I wanted to talk about that. So, um, for for the the heterosexual people, who can answer that question? I think I think um, you mean as far as whether it's a choice or not, right? Yeah. I think um, basically also, um, okay, Nigeria uh, is. is it's a divided between Muslims and Christians. Um, where we're from is primarily Christian, and one of the major one of the major opposers. Of, of homosexuality is religion, uh, Christianity specifically. And that's, I was always taught that homosexuality is wrong according to religion, according to religion. And you know, I got to thinking about it and I was like, well, is homosexuality a choice or is it just something you're born into? And I was thinking about it and I was like, you know what? Okay, according to religion, homosexuality is a sin. But so is lying. Lying is also a sin. Lusting is a sin. And we as humans put levels to those behaviors. But what I was taught is that God, and I'm not the perfect prime example, no, because please don't look at me like that. But God looks at everything the same. So I feel like just as we're all born in the sin, we can't help sometimes if we lie. We just do it subconsciously. It just comes out. I feel like it's the same way with being gay. The same way that if I see a fine girl with a really big butt, I'm probably going to look. And I'm going to have to go back and ask for forgiveness or whatever. But, but you, know, you know what I'm saying? But that's just in me to do that. And I can't help it. You know what I'm saying? I can, I can try to fight it. But if you catch me on a bad day, like I am just going to look. And I feel like it's the same way. And so I feel like that's where a lot of uh, 
I feel like that's where a lot of confusion comes in. And I feel like, like with religion and stuff, where they may make somebody feel ostracized or something like that because of, you know. And I, I don't feel like it is a choice necessarily. I feel like you can choose whether to continue that way, but I feel like inside you can't help. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that makes sense. Go ahead. Yeah, like what he said. Now, I believe that it's, it's not a choice. The choice is whether you decide to accept it or not and deny everything that you want to be just so you don't get stand, stand out in society. Because that's probably what happened before we were born and that's why now it's being more accepted and more people like that are older are coming out and saying they're gay than back then. Because it's being more, it's more accepted now. So they ignore the signs and deny everything right then, but now they're allowing it. Like some people, they'll have a smoke screen say that like they were married and stuff, but then they notice that it's being more accepted in society to be gay, so they'll have a divorce and come out as gay. Just because they were afraid at that point in time of society's reaction to being gay. So you think, you think they were gay before or they chose to be gay when they got it, it was okay? They were gay before, mm -hmm. but society made them afraid to publicly be gay. Right. Yeah. Society made us feel like that lifestyle was not one that was ever going to be accepted. Because you were like dead on in my head. Like, okay, thoughts here. But like, um, like he said, Christians, we put a level um, we put a level on sin, like, like because you're gay, I feel like I'm better than you, but my sin is just as bad. I cuss on a day about 50 million times a day. <laughs> so it's just like, it's just like, like I'm the professor of cussing one on one. Like, that's no. me. But like, I can't feel like, because you, your, your sin is homosexuality. My sin, my personal sin that I struggle with is cussing, but that doesn't make me any better than you because you're, you sin differently. I'm still sinning. God still sees me sinning. My, I'm still sinning. Our sins are on the same level, just like my sin is still on the same level, level as a murderer. If everything is the same in God's eyes, but we as humans, we put everything on a level. Like, all right, lying you down here, cussing you a little above here. You know, you put everything on a level, but nobody ever thinks about it. Well, if he's going to hell because he's a homosexual, then hell, I'm going to hell too, because I cuss like, it ain't no tomorrow, like it's going out of style within the next hour or so. <laughs> <laughs> like. <laughs> you see, you see, the thing with that is, the thing with that is like society is trying to put labels on so much things that we do, 